Thanks for messing around. New character, Sarah Trantol. Vampire Survivors, Beswick 353. Castlevania Collabin. Sarah Trantol grants 0 0.02 recovery every level. Once per life triggers fire breathing for every character after receiving fatal damage. Follows the alchemy whip when reviving. I do believe she's Leon's girlfriend, the one whose soul becomes part of Vampire Killer and turns the alchemy whip into Vampire Killer. She has the Star Flail, which I need to evolve in order to unlock Ronaldo up there. Let's get a Kraken on the Ode to Castlevania. Everyone truly is here. Okay. Oh, it's the Crescent Moon Rod. Alright, do you get the benefit of anything? Probably not. All right, well, Tier GC would make some sense. Hmm. Nothing showing up here at all. So let's go Bolero. Because I need to evolve it. I need to evolve it. Man, so many music tracks. Kind of a short blast. Other cart Sorba. Let's do it. I really want to get Vampire Killer, even though I don't really need it. Globus. I'll just grab whatever seems neat. Oh, I should get rid of the Centros Hoed too. X. I need to get rid of whatever I can to try and get the Star Flail. Yeah, I haven't somehow ma magically banished it. Ooh, Empty Tome. It was just another in the long vein of kidnapped Castlevania women. Ooh, regular fire breathing. Platinum Whip. really hated vampires, though. Yeah, I'll do this. I guess I could try to get Axe Armor down. Come on, Alchemy Whip. Full health. Oh, yeah. Good on by half a second. Base speed up 30%. Ooh, another shot. Triple Gear is probably going to be really nice with it. Hmm. Here you see, you have 10%. Effect lasts half a second longer. Oh, wow. That half a second is actually kind of considerably noticeable. Actually, isn't going to be too bad a weapon. Fully we'll evolve it. No, Sorb. Let's see. I need to grab everything I can. Try and get this evolved. Sorb. I'd be a Sorbin. Would you be a Sorbin? Heart Refresh. Not too helpful. One more projectile. Yeah, that projectile's pretty nice. You definitely want projectile speed, so beginning actually would have been better, but Blaro, since I have to evolve it, I'm to unlock someone. Hey, a discus. Still don't know whether it's a rather or discus or not. But this will probably be my best chance. An operator makes sense. Duration also makes sense. Even. Let's get you. A lot of things make sense with what it is. Duplicator, good call. Duration as well. Maybe a bit speed to throw it out further. Put on a by the same. They speed up 30% more. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get Harry up even higher. He's a damage too off of it. Also, things that evolve the moon. Uh, Tirjisu. 
this area up 10%. Effect lasts half a second longer. This yes, Spellbinder, Coronas. Those are both good passive pickups here. Just in case I need it maxed out. Oh wait, I can't actually get the shield. I actually have to avoid trying to get the shield because if it eats the flail, and I don't get to quantify it for it, I believed. I don't think it counts. Quite large, quite large indeed. Want Spellbinder and Tronus box first, so some extra damage will help. I'll save that chest for when I get it maxed out. Probably another amount of duplicator as well. Oh, whichever I see first is what I get, because I have Armadillos. Base damage up 10. Good amount of damage, too. Infinite Pierce, all based on duration. Good coverage. Like, I don't even have that much area size. Yeah, only 60 area, and it's hitting like half. Like this. Okay, let's see if it evolves. Nope. I can drink. Thorbin. I wasn't thinking. Well, no, it's just if you evolve it, not if you have the evolution at the end. Right? Not the whip I need. Then I can get more weapons on the back end. Yay, more weapons. That's a bit silly. No, uh, no alchemy whip still. I like seeing none of the whips. I like the Monty whip and the platinum whip I do have. There we go, alchemy whip. Yay, become one with the whip, Sarah. Yeah, it's actually a bit of a slower start, but once you get it going, especially if I had run awake instead, pretty good weapon. And if it's Moonrod, as it looks like him. Well, that was really strong in Something in the Night. It actually completely wrecked Gallum off with it. Ten thousand at five minute mark isn't bad. Vinda. Usually, I, my luck is not this bad about picking things up. Yeah, I find very fast now. Armor? I mean, it's supposed to be innate to her. Hmm. You know, considering basically no buttons do anything, it's surprising that more buttons aren't just tagged to, like, R and stuff. Allowed to activate things like that. Like, I hit left trigger to try and switch it. Just because, you know, I never actually checked. Ooh, good fire breathing. And recovery bonus, too. I mean, it's not a lot, but hey, it'll add up eventually. I mean, three more of these with beginning, five more with... Should have gone beginning. In fact, that'll be the one I get next. When I get from my Arcana chest, I'll grip beginning. Turn it half screen clear. First Armadillo is going to be duplicator for that purpose, too. Or, first Armadillo is going to be duplicator, yeah. Okay. Home Max, I have Spellbinder. Oh, this is going to be Alucard Swords. 
Yeah, so it's not duration. Or requires it to be fully evolved. Good amount of clearance. Then you can just follow it in, because things behind you aren't going to follow in that quickly. I am sticking about here, it's outside the castle for a quite a long time. I should just grab anything and then head in. Mm, not quite super fast. Probably gonna be a really good solo weapon. Now an old sanctuary running weapon. Especially with her recovery. Get up high enough level. Do some Sarah Bonding nonsense too. Mosey along, Sarah. Mosey along. Flail that star. And heck, because it sticks like this, it actually does decent back end clear too. Helpful that. Up front damage is not super great if you can't get knocked back there. The regular chest or is that evolution chest? That was probably an evolution chest though. So. That looks so weird. Oh lot of elk. Help me whip isn't coming up either, either, huh? Let's get that up. Just in case it requires fully evolved. I don't think there's been a single guy with a spell book has there, huh? Level up faster. Damage is not great, huh? Well, still, it's enough for wave clear. It's a good wave clear weapon. Bosses, more durable though. More durable, man. Put that down. None of these. Where it requires it. Well, it's not Cloverk in Labrador, Empty Tomb, Spellbinder, or Tier Jisu. Hmm, maybe Karoma's mana. Oh, there's like multiple discuses thrown out. Maybe that's what's causing the issue. Well, get the armadillo first. Whoa, that's some severe damage. Well, I guess I'm testing out that vampire whip evolution. No, I guess not. Hey, Bracer. Maybe it's very little to what I need, but hey, you're there. Yeah, this is going to be a weapon that kind of rules on a sound old sanctuary build. It gives you a decent clearance in the three directions, and you can use it on the back end too. Bounce out, Globus. Bounce out. Oh, hey, Axe Armors. Maybe you'll finally get hit down. Not refresh. Take the damage. Get a Globus level. I'll well, fire one more out, so. Okay, let's see, anything else I can get up here? Just the Parmagus, then I have to come back down, because... It'll be faster to do that than heading up. Yeah, two bosses. Bugbear. Could not be Parmagus, but that will get the shield up or discus up. Nope, still no Globus. 
Um, throwing his mana does make a good chunk of sense. This is really not the right move. But I should get the bosses in for more chances at chests and stuff. Disc us! Disc us! Da -da -da. I'll get Globa since it's close. You know, we'll be better get some bunch of other stuff. Alright, you're Solel. Hey, you never had a story. Are you? Yeah, you're Belmont. You're Christopher's son. Oop. I actually played as you. I don't think I have. I should have unlocked you, though. I should have unlocked you. Lobus. I mean, it's just room tracer, but worse. I guess its area is neatly bigger, but fires out so many less shots. And you want room tracer to be very wire. Well, I then need recovery to get through. Oh, right, empty tomb. Laser. Laser. Well, that'll fix up one direction. Oh, am I on the goblin? I can't even tell. Whipping. Which one was this? Was this armor? Mm. Oh, creature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's energy with. Their bond day, but what I want is the beginning of everything, which comes near the end. Oh, yeah, yeah you're not wanting full gore. Beam! Hey, a crown. Yay. Coronas. Wait, is it not Parmages? Is it armor? Huh. Whoop. Okay, grab the silver ring. Hit the bosses up. Bosses. Boss. Hit the boss up. Oh, so the L's not down. Let's fix that ASAP. Level up that crown. Corner ahead. Okay, I got three more armor to use to go. Ta -da, more crowning. Ran right into that. Doing quite a lot of damage with some of these moves. Wish it was more, though. Wish it was more. Oh, that was a lucky one. Whipping. Still not enough to take you out, eh, eyeball? Hey, eyeball. Duh, Tromas. We'll get Bracer out of there. But I should, you know, I have the ability to actually check what evolves the discus. Oh, this Parmage just must be a. Huh. No fire breathing. And that's the eyeball chest up there. I'm all on something. Well, some I already have. That's still something.
What did I just get there? Oop, they're running into you. Or you, or you. Level eight. And I think I actually like fairy for the healing. Oh. Oh, I took fatal damage for the spider breathing, didn't I? No, oh, there's curse maxed. Racer. Oh, finally my level up storm is here. Uh, not as much as I wish it was. Oh, Mini Gaiben. Where did you come from? We be Sorbin. Not going all in. Not going all in with the spellbox is uh, definitely, you know, making sure my damage is not great. Well, my kills aren't great. Still, I have quite a lot of stuff. It's probably definitely 100% the mana, isn't it? Gustos. I wonder if we can eat up. Man, they're just moving so fast before I can get a big wave clear out. Stop them. How much is 90? I don't have quite the wave clear I've had. Yay, Vampire Killer. That's a secret achievement. Now I've gotten it. Or if that's a secret, I've now done it. Everything as big as possible. Oh good, I can heal up with a fairy circle for a bit. Or I could get annihilated. Good, level up storm. Wait, there's some big Alucards out here. Oh, something weird's going on here. Gimme. And that's not that. Alright, what do we want? Huh? Oh, there was a chest down there. And that was probably a lotion chest, too. Okay, what else makes sense? Duplicator. Yeah, it, here he is huge. Circle of deathly triangles. Duration is not great, too. Still limit breaking, it'll fix a lot of the troubles. What's Platinum Whip want? I thought it was Clover. Platinum Whip does want Clover. Huh. I just haven't picked up any chests then. Time to get fast with Sonic Dash. Run, Sarah, run! Run away from a... Walter and uh, Matthias. I think that's their names. Sonic, 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 dash in time. There's a stellar blade for you. 
Ooh, and some axe armors around too. Well, if I don't get it this time, I'd be really confused. Oh, I did not. Did not have done that. That one did, though. Point twenty five percent might. I wonder why it's suddenly all so low. Not duplicator either, geez. Well, whatever it's gonna be is gonna be really odd. Well, mana. Mana is the only one I can think of that would be consistent. That's a uh, eyeball chest, isn't it? No, it's a regular chest. Might on that. Yeah, it gets 0.5 might, and it's... Well, it attacks like this. It's still our blade, which is worse. Duration. Oh, two mount. That's good. Frozen shades are uh, not a threat. Wait, what? I got the secret unlock message. What did I do? Wings, eh, wings doesn't it seem like it make any sense here. But repeat us to you. Oh, Pomerola, it's gonna be Pomerola, isn't it? Because you have her innate recovery thing. More enemies, more, more. Gang Shia. Yeah, you saw quite a little number of hits. Alright. Is uh, yeah. No. Alright, get the wings max, then I can get the feel off this. Now I can really bust a move. Right on over. Do this armadillo. And grab me some, some Pomerola. Okay, I've got 10 minutes to pick up all the other passives, too. Which, well, I haven't had... Oh no, I've got Crown. It's not out of bounds. Can't get an armadillo from a box, it would have to be something else. Maybe I would grab Paranormal Scanner for the chance to hire luck. Speaking of which... Hey, there we go. Yeah, Pomerola. All Starfile projectiles are shot in the face direction. Good. That's it. Oh. Okay, then that is it. Wow, well, yeah. That's already a decent weapon that turns... Well. Now I only have a shield. Let's get silly with it. And see if it does work or not. Oh, right, I have Sonic with and the beam. That means whatever's in front of me here is going to get annihilated. That's what Sorbin gets you. Get your sword and get your shield. Oh, you actually came through. Well, 
Hmm. It means you can't use... You can't limit break anything. That's like supposed to be the downside, isn't it? You can't individually limit break things. And it's kind of hard to get to a point where you can see if you can actually limit break the shield. Alright, so the Star Flail and the Moon Crescent Rod. That is its real name. Pretty good. A lot better than Full War was. That's for sure. In fact, I'd say it's probably one of the better weapons so far. Like Alchemy with Vampire Killer better. Gale Cutter. But yeah, definitely on the higher end of whip. Or higher end of the weapons so far. Wine glass. Or I can get a sun up out of here. It's the one causing those blue numbers, but why? Like, did I just never read it correctly? There was a bonus crit chance thing. Secret crit chance thing going on with it. It's pretty hard. It's for four digits. Rune sword. Let's go fight some more bosses for some more chests. You know, fighting this thing is gonna give me a secret considering, well, I just unlocked one with her somehow on accident. Ew, level up storm. Maybe I did? I'm not even sure. Means I guess I could have been trying to fight all the other bosses. Get them that way with level ups. Eyeball. Skull. Stone mask. Don't need stone mask. Need skull. When whip is crowned, so that'll evolve. Into store. Spirit tornado tip. One glass will evolve the meal ticket, no trouble. I got that tier GC still. Alright, down to the next boss. There you are. Aren't you so cute? Oh, look at that damage get pumped up. Bye bye. Whip it good. With the water dragon whip. And now it's Hydro Storm tip time. Bye, aye. Come on, give me skull. That's not a skull. It's not a skull at all. Yeah. Wait, what? Where are there? Me tag Leo, right. Actually, this is. Yeah, this is very close to it anyway. Probably faster than going through the teleport route. 
All right. Well, can you get in here, Lankian? Is that you can't? Yeah, too much damage for you. Too much. Yep, you'll just get knocked back. Same with thing with you, cross man. Even if you do get through, I got healing. You do not. Ooh, big old chest for big old stuff. Didn't know that was gonna happen. Fire! That's me, Taglio. I just want to get her recovery up. Oh, hey. Wow, how far back was that Arcana chest? Well, it's not going to be very helpful anyway. No idea where it's even at. Oh, let's go grab this vacuum. Just mash it. It's gone. Let's head up. All right, that was definitely. Well, I did lose a life. More do that. Unluckiness with the Toronis box than anything. Otherwise, that was a pretty swift run. No problems. I didn't feel weak at any point. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Now that I know where those paintings were, they have a PSP, so... Might as well make the attempt. Probably it won't work, but who knows. Probably aren't even going to spawn in anymore. Yeah, I think they're out. Stain your glass with blood. And we will win. Oh, hey, City of Lantern. You're still alive. Interesting. No luck on the Mutagli, I just the fact that I got Clover is like my first passive. Probably, probably not going to break through the ceiling. You want to try though? I'm more than welcome to fail. Boss! Boss eyeball, boss eyeball. Okay, the paintings are spawning in. One of them I saw was... Okay, I don't know actually how Autostronomia works with dash boots. It might just like do some sort of line damage on what I see. So I'll just keep it painting in the direction of those paintings at the bottom. That seems to be the better idea. Alright. Actually enough gameplay to the end. I wasn't just overpowered by the halfway minute mark. Considering she was at like less than 100k before halfway through, it was a good come around. Yeah, it sure does get dark early once it reaches the butt later path of the year, huh? So that's there down, that should unlock Ronaldo, presuming the star flail evolves correctly. Well, it did. Presuming that the Alucard shield doesn't somehow steal it. That should be him unlocked. Possibly Axe Armor, Browner, and whoever in the Ice Caverns got unlocked by the tag noise, or maybe that was just a mistake, because occasionally you can get like that. Yep, yeah, that's another one on the bez. We're done. 353. Quite the storied ride, eh?
durable. Oh, they don't look like I get any chests showing up here. Weird. Oh, hey, at the very last moment. Another Arcana chest showed up. Clearly, I should just mad group. Can't grab nothing. This is going crazy at the very end. Oh, very least my one goal here was accomplished. Who knows about anything else though? I could have four unlocks, I could have one. But we'll see in just a few seconds. Oh no, Sarah, death has claimed you. All the star flail. Like 60,000 damage with the star flail. Oh, that also counts as interlocked. Okay, so that worked. Moonrod, 30 million. I don't know how it counts when it gets eaten by the shield. 30 million, not bad. What's time? 51 million on it. But yeah, it's actually really good, like I thought. Rune Sword, though, still beefy. Highest DPS, most time, it would have taken over everything. All right, that's Sarah Train told on. That'll unlock Ronaldo, who will be next. Da -da. Who? Joheim Armister? Did I have him unlocked before? I don't think so. And it still does not look like axe armor. Or browner have been unlocked. Yeah, browner's here. Axe armor still fine. All right, next time up, it's going to be that Ronaldo fellow with Calamite Bubbles. Stick around to see the check off. All right, and Sarah Trantol has taken us up to 1,986 done on the Beswick. Let's write it up. Get it over here and makes 116 characters total in the Beswick. A total of 798 stages to go after this. Haha, <laughs> it just keeps getting higher. Remember when it was done? Remember when it was done? Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. On the right side is the Beswick from the start. The left side is the next video or the best video. And the subscription in the center if you'd be so kind if you haven't. Thank you anyone who has. Thank you anyone who will. Please like, dislike, comment, subscribe as you go. And have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick. Move to Castlevania style.